Tokyo Electric Power Company has released new footage of the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It reveals the progress made over the seven months since the March 11 disaster. Video taken on October 12th by TEPCO workers shows roads that have been cleared of debris and a makeshift levee constructed along the coast. On the west side of the compound, holding tanks have been set up to store salt water left over from the process of treating highly radioactive wastewater in the reactors. Each tank can hold 100,000 liters. However, in areas around the number three and four reactors, buildings are still left with collapsed walls and broken windows. TEPCO explained that not many workers were visible in the footage because it was taken during lunch break. The operator says that on weekdays, 3,000 workers are normally at that facility. A cold shutdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant may be achieved a month ahead of schedule. The government and Tokyo Electric Power have made a revised schedule, also pushing up discussions on redefining the areas subject to evacuation. We will do our utmost to achieve a cold shutdown by the new deadline set for the end of this year. The temperatures at reactors 1, 2, and 3 have all dropped below 100 degrees Celsius. The Chinese government has decided to give out free round-trip air tickets to 10,000 people living abroad during the next fiscal year. This is aimed at promoting the country's tourism that's been seriously hurt by the March disaster. The government's tourism agency will launch the program next April. The agency's chief, Hiroshi Mizuhata, made the announcement on Friday. He said this project will mark the start of a major push to lure foreign visitors. He expressed hope to get a budget of more than $14 million for the program in the initial year. The agency estimates that a total of nearly 540,000 foreigners visited Japan last month. That's down almost 25 percent from a year earlier. The decline has been continuing, continuing for seven, seven straight months. It, it attributed to the radiation scare following the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident as well as the yen's strength. The agency plans to invite applications online. To receive free tickets, travelers are requested to present their travel plans to the agency. The government is hoping that they will spread information about their, their, their trips to other people. Meanwhile, in another disaster hit city of Ishinomaki, this year's rice harvest was delivered to evacuees living in temporary housing. Hiroshi Ouchi is a local farmer who used to grow rice as part of a training program for local junior high school students. Ouchi and the students visited about 200 temporary houses on Friday and delivered nearly two tons of rice. I didn't think we could harvest this year. The local people look so happy when they receive the rice. I think we will be able to harvest even more rice next year, so I'd like to donate it to the community again.